when you close your eyes to meditate, try to make your mind like a blank slate. Clean the slate off. Ordinarily, we're like a blackboard that has lots and lots of layers of things written on it. We're always quick to fill up any empty spaces. But it's time to sweep things clean, and then allow in only the memories that are useful for the meditation. In other words, memories that will help you know what's going on, remind you what you should be doing. And it's rather other memories of who you are or where you are. You can even put those aside. This way you can see things a lot more clearly. Because the writings on the board didn't have lots of stories. And those, story, <clears throat> those stories are matters of becoming, identities in different worlds. And we're really good at that. We can very quickly make a becoming out of almost nothing. And then go and try to live in it. We can live in it for a while. And then it begins to wear down, or we get bored with it, something. We move on to another one, another one. More writing on the blackboard. We have to erase those things if we really want to see clearly how this process happens. So we try to get down to the really basic level, just acts of attention. You're paying attention to the breath. Intention, you're trying to breathe in a way that's comfortable. Then use your perception, your image of how the breath flows in the body, so you can get that sense of well-being to spread throughout the body. Simple things like this. As for everything else, think of Moggallana's image of his mind being like space. Some people came to him one time and tried to lure him out of the monkhood. He says, your words are like words written in space. There's nothing in the mind for them to latch on to. So if you can keep your mind clear like that and watch very carefully what's actually happening, and he said, allow in only the memories that are useful. Then you begin to take apart this process we have of creating worlds inside the mind, and then worlds outside that we're going to be born into. Because as the Buddha said, that process, if it's done in ignorance, leads to a lot of suffering. That, that's what his definition is. Any craving that leads to becoming is a cause of suffering. So we have to learn how to undo the process, and do that by clearing, clearing the slate. And watching what's going on right here, right now, in the most basic terms. So you see, there's nothing much here. And some people get discouraged. They say, well, there's nothing much. I'll go back and create some more worlds. But no, you realize, well, those worlds are created out of, out of oh, that's nothing. If that's creating suffering, why bother? Part of the mind will say, well, it's our only entertainment. But look what happens when you try to entertain the mind. Think of those Brahmas who are going to come down into the world after living off of rapture for many, many aeons. And it was just playfulness that brought them down. And then as they got pulled down, there was more and more and more suffering. So watch out for that desire for entertainment. Because a lot of entertainment in the world is, is not simply good times, happy times. It has some very painful implications. Unfortunately, by Stopping the process, you're not left with nothing. That was his great discovery, that by stopping the process, the ultimate happiness comes. So try to clean things away, clean things away, so you can see clearly. So you create the opening for that happiness. We have the time, we have the space. Who knows how much longer we're going to have that, this time and space. But we have it right now. So make the most of it while you can.